Hey, you're right. Our next topic is measurement. And you should have done this in year seven. Our first exercise is length and perimeter. Length, what we need to learn is conversion. So length is a distance, centimeters, millimeters, meters, or kilometers. And perimeter is easy, it's just a distance around the outside of a shape. So let's have a look at length. One thing you need to know is conversions. So kilometers to meters to centimeters to millimeters. Here's a conversion table. Kilometers to meters, there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. So if you're going to convert from kilometers to meters, see that arrow across there, you times it by a thousand. So if you had three kilometers into meters, you times it by a thousand, you get three thousand meters. Meters to centimeters, you times it by a hundred. Centimeters to millimeters, you times it by ten, because there's ten millimeters in a centimeter. And going the other way, it's in reverse. So dividing by ten, dividing by a hundred, dividing by a thousand. This was from year seven as well. So hopefully uh, rings a bell. So let's do a couple of exercises straight away. So let's convert 5.2 centimeters to millimeters. So centimeters to millimeters. We're going from here to millimeters. So we multiply by 10. See that? So the way you multiply a decimal by 10 is you move the decimal place one spot to the right. So 5.2 times 10. If you want to write times 10, feel free to. And then the answer is 52 millimeters. That was pretty easy. Excellent. Next one, 480 metres into kilometres. Metres to kilometres, we're going this way, we divide it by a thousand. So when you divide by a thousand, you move the decimal point three spots back, or you can cross off zeros. But let's just move it three spots back. So one, two, three. So the decimal point goes there, so it is 0 0.480, or 0 0.48 kilometres. You can put the zero there at the end, but it doesn't really matter. So 0 0.48 kilometres. Always use common sense. Does that seem like a sensible answer? Yes, it does. Last one. Centimetres to kilometres. So we'll have a look here. Centimetres to kilometres. There's two steps. You can either do it in two steps, which is the way I like doing it. I like converting it to metres and then to kilometres. But some people say dividing that is divided by 100, which is two decimal places back. And this one's three decimal places back. So all together, it's moving the decimal point five spots back. Some people like to do it right just in one step. I'm going to do it in two steps. So, centimetres to metres first, we divide by 100. So, divide by 100, you chop two zeros off, and I get 850 metres. Now, metres to kilometres, we divide by 1,000. Divide by 1,000, move the decimal point in place three spots back. And the decimal point goes to the front of that, so it is 0 0.85 kilometres. There's your answer. Make sure you know how to convert. Make sure you know this conversion table and how it works. Great job. Let's move on to perimeter. As I said, perimeter, and make sure you've already copied down those notes from the last exercise, the last page as well. Here's our notes for perimeter. Have a quick look at that and copy it down. Perimeter is a distance around the outside of a shape. So all you're going to do is start at one edge, one corner, add up that distance, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that is the perimeter. Problem here is we've only got two measurements out of the whole shape. So first thing is fill in all the measurements you can. So that's three centimetres, that one's the same, so that one's also three centimetres. Now if you look at the top, that whole distance, that's three and that's three, so that whole distance is six centimetres, because three and three is a whole distance. Excellent. We're still missing two measurements. We're miss missing this one here and that one there. Now, we don't know exactly what those two are. We can guess, but we don't know for sure. But what we do know is that that distance plus that distance is equal to four centimetres. So that distance is four centimetres. We don't need to know that one and that one individually, but we know together they make four centimetres. So the way we work out the perimeter is we start from here, it's six centimetres, plus four there, plus three, and that three as well, so three and three. Now, <clears throat> those two together are four centimetres. So we just make that add on four, and add that together, and there's our answer. So that's 10, 16, 20. So 20, make sure you put the units, which is centimetres, 
And there's your answer. So make sure you've accounted for every single edge in that shape. Good job. Now the next one, proving it's pretty easy, it's just adding up all the side lengths. But that's too easy if I gave you the three side lengths of a triangle. This time we're working backwards. It says find the value of x, find that side length. It's an isosceles triangle because we know that, that side is x and therefore this one is also x. That one's 5. And we're given the perimeter which is 19 centimetres. So what I want you to do for this is set up an equation. So what we know is that when you, when you add all the sides together, they equal 19. So let's do that. x plus x plus 5 is equal to 19. Or another way to say that is x plus x is 2x. So 2x plus 5 is equal to 19. Does that make sense, everyone? That's x and that's x. So that's how I've got 2x plus the 5. And that's equal to 19 because that's a perimeter. Now we have an equation that we can solve. So you minus 5 from both sides and you get 2x equals 14. Divide both sides by 2 and you get x equals 7. And the units are centimetres. So that side length is 7 centimetres. You can check your answer because 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 5 is 19. So you know you've got the right answer. Okay, class is pretty much almost over. Okay, and let's just do one more example. So this time you've got x down there, that's 10 and that's the same length, isn't it? So that must be 10, so fill that in. And the perimeter is 26. So again, set up an equation. So we've got x plus 10 plus 10 equals 26 centimetres. So x plus 20 equals 26. Subtract 20 from both sides and you get x equals 6 and put the units in centimetres. And again, you can, if that's 6 and that's 10 and 10, add to 26. You check your answer using common sense. Great job. And there's your homework, exercise 4A. 1 to 6 every second question, 7 to 9 all. Don't forget, do your homework and smash that like button.